Hi guys, I'm back with Who Is This Person? We want them to show themselves here. Pisces, who is this? Who is this for my Pisces? Who is this? Scorpio energy there, tower. Somebody that rocks your world. Somebody that brought some grief to your doorstep. Um, this is something that happened very um, suddenly. Okay. Somebody that you broke up with like that and you weren't expecting it. <clears throat> Somebody that's angry too. Somebody that comes and goes in and out, very flaky. Um, they may not like be leaving and coming physically. Could definitely be that. But this is somebody that you, one day they're a certain way and then the next day they're liable to flip the switch on you. Um, not someone that you will look for if you are wanting a committed relationship, to be honest with you. I feel like every time this person... Uh, almost like you walk on eggshells with this individual because you think if you behave a certain way it's going to make them act a certain way which no no matter what you do it's not going to affect their flaky behavior okay Sagittarius energy there Ace of Cups this is somebody that needs a lot of attention I feel um, definitely needs a lot of attention definitely loves themselves I feel like this person does care for you, but I feel like they have some underlying issues that you cannot help them with, um, honestly. Um, Scorpio energy is strong here. Scorpio energy is definitely strong here with the Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, the Tower energy. Uh, this person is definitely in and out. Um, I feel like they do care for you, but I feel like when you don't do what they want you to do, then they're on to the next thing. And then when that thing doesn't pan out, they're back. It's like, you know, that type of energy. This person, if, um, if they love you, they love you. If you do something that they, they don't like, then you feel like they don't necessarily like you. Um, not a good feeling, not a good situation to be in here, okay? Seven of Cups could have definitely been somebody involved in this situation. Uh, this person probably made you feel like you were just one of many options. Um, you never really knew exactly how they felt about you. Okay. Again, Scorpio energy there. Then we have a Five of Swords here. This person does not want to feel like they're losing whatsoever. If they leave, and you start talking to someone else, they'll find a way to try to interfere with that. Because it's like, not that they really care if you're happy or not, and it sounds harsh, but it's all about them, honestly. If they can't have you in any way that they want to, then they will create conflict in your life and your other relationships. Whether it's with family, um, intimate relationships, what have you. But they bring a lot of grief, I feel, your way. Okay? They'll make you feel like, or try to make you feel like, you know, there's no one else. But um, you always have that inkling that there possibly is. Then we have temperance here. It's just all about them. There's definitely some healing that this person needs. And I feel like they act this way all about themselves is because there's something missing. There's something that happened with them before. Um, quite possibly some, some injury from childhood. But um, they're, they're not stable. They're not stable. I feel like they try to be, but they're not. They're definitely wanting to um, get back with you right now, for sure. But I feel like they still have that tendency to, if things don't go their way, to like leave, you know? 
Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius Scorpio, very strong here. Okay, then we have all these cards that flipped over. Let's see. We have the Two of Swords that's in reverse. This is what they'll always do. This is what they'll always do. And I say always because they have like this history of doing it. And the Two of Swords is like not really deciding something, but this is decided that this is a type of energy that this person has, that they exhibit. They're in love with love. Okay? If they feel like you're doing something or somebody is doing something um, that benefits them, they're all in. But the next day, it could change up just that quick. So this is something that, I mean, this is just the way it is with them. Okay? Because, again, I feel like this person hasn't addressed some issues that they have from the past and quite possibly mommy issues here with this moon. Okay? This person has mommy issues. And I'm going to need you to hear this. This is a message for a lot of you guys. Okay. Take heed. So if this person is coming back into your life and they're spitting some really good game to you, just take notice that um, until they address their own issues, then this is the way that they are. This is the way that they, they're going to be. Um, and... and Please don't expect too much change from how they have behaved before. They've shown you themselves, so, you, you know, it's up to you to believe it, okay? What is it that this person truly wants? What is it that this person truly wants from Pisces? Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this with you. They want to work on this with you because... They, they want you to feel like you're the only one. And I do think that they have intentions of that. But they still, if things don't go their way, they still will disappoint you. Okay? So just keep that in mind. They definitely want to work on things with you. That Virgo energy there. Eight of Cups. Yeah, they want to come back and work on things with you. This person left you. Because for some reason, at some point in time, they felt like they weren't getting what they needed from you, okay? This is a cycle you've been in with this person for a while. And the Two of Pentacles. They, they're they juggling. They've been juggling. Okay? I mean, it's the same story that, you know, they, they will quite possibly involve you guys in a three-party relationship or make you feel like you're just one of... Um, many options that they have feeding you this and then you know steady juggling so um, that's a strong message here for a lot of you guys okay and the four of pentacles yeah this is not budging this four of pentacles the seven of cups energy and this tower energy still very unstable Seven of Cups there. I mean, there's not very much more that I could say about this other than the fact that this person has a lot of work that they need to do. And I feel like they're avoiding it because some people just feel like, you know, there's nothing um, that I need to fix. But they definitely have some issues that, you know, need to be resolved if they're, they are to have a healthy relationship. And I feel like this is definitely something stemming from childhood, mother issues, um, but this person is not going to let go of the options, which is going to constantly have you feeling like, you know, you're not enough. Okay. Definitely. They're holding on to this. They just want to win. They want to win you over. But yeah. So we have Capricorn, Pisces, um, your energy here <clears throat> for sure. We have Virgo, Capricorn. I think I already said Capricorn. We have Scorpio very strongly. Sagittarius is here very strongly. Cancer. And then we have fire energy. Um, Aries Leo. 
as well, along with Sagittarius energy, okay? Libra's here as well. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.